relax your tension, when you relax your ideas, basically. Especially those that don't work for you. Especially those your spirit disagrees with. Those that don't feel like they're true for you. Limiting beliefs, lack like ideas. Ideas are rooted in the idea that lack can occur. When you relax in that sense, it doesn't have to be relaxed in any other sense. You can even tense up your body and still feel bliss, still feel joy, still feel love. But if you are relaxing the ideas surrounding lack, then suddenly you're not protecting yourself from the future anymore, which is such an automated tension to protect from the next moment or to protect from two days from now or to protect from two years from now to protect from someone else. When you relax, that idea that lack can occur to you and you rest into the abundance that is here, the bliss that's your natural state, that's effortless. And you surrender all ideas about how harm can come to you. Trust becomes natural, effortless. You start to become tuned into what I would call bliss, which can really, it has many shades if you want to call it that, many different types of colors, but all of them are bliss, can feel like it's this deep, deep, deep peace, can feel like it's this high, high, high ecstasy and excitement and proactivity, or anything in between or on the side of it. But you'll notice bliss when it's there, when you're experiencing it, it's always there. But when you choose to align your wavelength in that sense, your personal wavelength, with the universal wavelength, which is always rooted in bliss, because it's never rooted in lack. That's the only reason why, because there's no lack. Then you will start to experience and embody and let flow through your, shall we say, body-mind projection. The experience you've created of yourself, that you've manifested of yourself, that you've crystallized of yourself, which we could call you in terms of the personal mind and the physical body and the emotional body and the energetic body, the etheric body. These all then start to reattune themselves naturally, simply by you having shifted your commitment, your focus, to the natural rhythm of the creator or creation or existence. And in the eyes of existence, there is no tension because there's no lack. And so, because there's no lack whatsoever, and there's no tension whatsoever, there is the natural dance of love, with its many shades, ranging from ecstasy to deep peace, to profound insight and wisdom and stability, to flexibility, movability, the ability to move, to change, to transform, to shift. All of these different shades of bliss, or bloy, as I accidentally call it today. I wanted to say to some th someone, follow your bliss, but I also had the thought of joy at the same time. So follow your bloy. <laughs> Came out a little weird, but it was fun. So act on your bloy. I just wanted to share that, just the naturalness of bliss, bliss, the fact bloy, the fact that you can turn into, <laughs> you can tune into that by relaxing. So to relax for two to five seconds is another way of saying, give up your right to hold on to something that doesn't exist, which is the projection of lack. Give up your right to hold on to the projection of something that does not exist, which is lack. And instantaneously, there's no tension. You become more flexible. You become more stable at the same time, changeless as well as changing. A freshness, a meeting the moment spontaneously.